Some alert parents who saw something that wasn't right helped get that man back behind bars. A man who keeps failing to follow the rules but has remained free until now. News 13's Rachel Knapp is in the studio with details. Kim, a Tahiris couple told us in March they were worried a neighbor and convicted sex offender, Michael Gilpin, and his wife were trying to lure their daughter into their home. They reported it to the sheriff's department, who recently found hundreds of images of child pornography in that home. Why don't we call uh, Mr. Gilpin's case first? State has filed a motion for pretrial detention. Michael Gilpin looked frail as he appeared before a judge this afternoon. But he's a known predator, convicted of child sex crimes in Roosevelt County in 2008, now accused of doing it again. Inside his home, investigators say they found 434 images of children as young as one being sexually assaulted, another 1,000 images of cartoon-like child pornography, all found thanks to a couple who saw something they didn't like and spoke up. It was like a sick feeling in my stomach. Back in March, the family who lives near Gilpin saw concerning behavior by his wife, Joy, toward their nine-year-old daughter. After doing some digging and discovering Michael is a convicted sex offender, they alerted deputies. Once we realized what was really going on, it all just kind of fell together. Deputies spent months investigating and on April 22nd searched his home, discovering the child pornography. That has neighbors wondering how authorities weren't keeping a closer eye on him. Court documents show while Gilpin's probation was supposed to end this coming September, Judge Drew Tatum allowed him to be unsatisfactory discharged from probation, meaning the state had exhausted all of its efforts to help Gilpin get better, with no success. Prosecutors tell us they fought it. They do now say that Gilpin has allegedly broken the law again. His past behavior can affect his future. If they didn't not successfully complete the probationary period. That's a factor that uh, whoever's handling the case, or in our district, whoever's handling the case could look at that and say, all right, that's one factor to consider on whether or not to place this person back on probation. We did reach out to the judge for an explanation as to why Gilpin was released early from his probation, but we haven't heard back. Right now, Gilpin remains locked up at MDC. Prosecutors are asking a judge to keep him there until trial. Kim. Okay, thanks, Rachel. Now, at this point, Joy Gilpin, who lives in that same home where the child pornography was found, is not facing any charges. Investigators say they don't believe there's enough evidence to charge her, but they could not go into details about the investigation. Now, she was charged along with Michael back in 2008 in Roosevelt County for child pornography, but those charges were later dropped because of evidence issues.